Okay, here's a question. Like LeBron and the Lakers are playing the Suns right now, right? Mm -hmm. After the game is over, does he go straight to go see Messi and and, and take on LA? I, I say yes. Okay, so then a guy like him might spend the seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. I would think if I'm LeBron, I pull this number. Just show up at the back entrance and walk in. Oh, excuse me, sir. That's a good point, bro. Excuse me, sir. Sir, that's a good point. Come here. Come here. That's you. a good point. You, tall guy, Dan. That's a great point you mentioned because um. You know, I listen to other podcasts. I'm big fans of uh, Club Shay Shay and Nightcap with uh, Unk and, and Channing and Ocho. Oh. Uh, I said Channing. Chad. Uh, you don't listen to The Pivot? Oh, I love, oh, I love The Pivot. I do, dude. Channing Crowder. I'm happy, that, I'm happy they got their stuff back. People were stealing. That's why. That's the one thing about those uh, events. You got to watch your back because anybody catches you slipping. Uh, Super Bowl week, especially in Vegas. I mean, Vegas, you already know there's people always... Um, leering and creeping to to take advantage of Even. others and they they had their equipment stolen but it was found um good job by the ellis uh las vegas pd but here's the thing i was saying um watching nightcap with um with uh unk and ocho they were talking about similar like the stuff that we were just talking about you know what i'm saying about you know uh spending money and 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 using your 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 name as a way to get in during those Super Bowl parties, right? That week of Super Bowl. If you're not invited, Dan, but you're a known celebrity, are you not just going to like, hey man, it's, it's me, it's, it's cool, it's Dan Day. Let me get in. You don't think somebody's gonna be like, oh yeah, Mr. Day, if you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, Mr. Day, oh yeah, uh, Mr. Day doesn't have his invitation, but take care of him. That's what you do when you're a celebrity. That's what happens. Who's gonna tell? Who's gonna tell LeBron no if so, he decides to walk to yeah. Bank of uh, Bank of America Stadium? Or, I don't know if it was Bank of America. Okay. Bank of he, California. What if he says, "You know what? I don't care." LeBron hands him a thousand dollars and says, "Hey, you do like, now. right?" Or, "Hey, I'll take a picture with you." Hey, what what do you want? Like, honestly, I mean, if I'm a security guard, I'm not losing my job over a thousand dollar tip. I will. Hey, so, you think mm -hmm. Taylor Swift didn't have a ticket to the Super Bowl? She Sorry, was, nope. You, know, you, you want to be that guy? You want to be that guy? Rules are rules. You want to be that guy? I'm sorry, little girl. You can't come in. No. You want to be that guy? No, of course. They just walk in. I mean, I'm sure they have some type of invite or whatever. There's certain people. My name is my invitation. Yeah, my reputation. My image is my rep invitation. Well, we got a fire code to worry about. Pull somebody out. Like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, if I'm LeBron I, or any huge Taylor Swift, I just walk in. Who's going to stop you? Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop you? And you know, if they even try, it's going to go on social media and people are going to murder them. Yes, verbally. And then, and then you play the innocent celebrity. I was told that I had a ticket. I was told just to walk in. And then, I mean, too easy. We Sorry. Saw, at least we solved that problem. Which we right. kind of knew. So, there's a, like, so then, therefore, I'm not paying that $790,000. No! I'm walking in. $790,000 is my face. You know what I would do? Now, this is the move we do, Vlad. What's the move? If we're big time and we got all this money and we decide to walk in, security guard looks at us and is like, how y'all doing? We know we don't have a ticket. Hey, man, hope your day's going well. Throw him like two or three thousand dollars or her two or three thousand dollars. That's my price. That's the ticket I bought. My ticket went into the pocket of this hardworking security guard who's doing their job and also realizing their position and saying, hey, you're good. I'm going to say you're good. Instead of buying a three thousand dollar ticket, you get my you you get the money. Seems to work out for everybody right there. I hope so. I, am I the one that's gonna have to get the three thousand? Or are you doing it this time? I'm not doing. It. Okay, I guess I'm paying this time. 